Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. For a long time, both phones and Bluetooth speakers seem to be getting smaller and smaller. Now, lately, you might have noticed they're both getting bigger and bigger. Now that's cool, but what about portability? Enter the Logitech X100. Just look at it. Now it might be portable, but how does it hold up in other regards? Let's take a look. Looking at the size of the box that holds the Logitech X100, you might not think there was anything else inside. You'd be wrong, but only barely. Flipping open the top of the box, you'll find a USB cable. Aside from the manual, there's nothing else inside. Well, aside from the speaker, of course. That's there. Our review unit of the Logitech X100 came in an orange and purple color scheme, but it's also available in gray, yellow, red, and green. As simple as the design of it is, the look of it is pretty neat. There might be smaller speakers out there, but the X100 is without a doubt the smallest speaker we've reviewed so far. How small? Well, it's just under one and a half inches thick, and the diameter is just under three and a half inches. Basically, this speaker will quite literally fit in the palm of your hand. It's also fairly light. If portability is a major concern for you, this is a good bet. Despite the lightweight and small size, the build feels very solid. I wouldn't suggest using this speaker as a hammer, but it feels like it could easily survive a drop or two. Pairing the X100 is fairly easy. While it doesn't have NFC, it's a simple matter of turning it on, waiting for the pairing light to start flashing, and pairing from the device of your choice. Of course, if you're using a device that doesn't support Bluetooth, or if you'd just like to save your phone's battery life, you can always plug your music in via the 3.5mm audio in jack. Bluetooth range is advertised as 30 feet, and that is almost exactly what I found to be the case in real-world testing. Much further, and I started to notice some breakups and skips in the music. Looking at the controls, there are a total of four buttons. You have a dedicated power button, plus and minus buttons that double up as volume and skip forward and backward buttons, and a multifunction button, which is used for pausing and resuming playback and answering and ending calls. Holding it down puts the speaker into pairing mode. The battery life of the Logitech X100 is advertised at 5 hours and that seems to be a pretty accurate statement. In testing, I found I got over 5 hours of listening at relatively moderate volume. Luckily, even though the battery life isn't all that long, charge time is pretty short. I took the battery from completely drained to full capacity in between an hour and a half and 2 hours. Looking at the small size of the X100, we really weren't expecting much in terms of sound quality, and so we weren't disappointed. It's a simple matter of physics that a speaker this small isn't going to be able to produce earth-shaking bass or room-clearing volume. In testing, I played a bunch of different music as well as podcasts and audiobooks over both Bluetooth and the 3.5mm audio in. For a short playlist of a few of the many songs I listened to during testing, check the video description. For what it's worth, the X100 produces what is probably as much bass as possible for a speaker this size, but that just isn't a whole lot. Songs heavy on low end do hold up fairly well, but you've got to keep your expectations in line. The mid-range has a fairly boxy character to it, with a peak around 1kHz. This makes the speaker very well suited to podcasts and audiobooks, but not quite as much for music. I was a little surprised that the high end wasn't harsh, it's actually fairly subdued and could have used a bit of a boost. The maximum volume is another surprise. You wouldn't expect a speaker of this size to get much louder than a wristwatch, but it can pump out a surprising amount of volume. The biggest thing the X100 has going for it is its small size, but that isn't a terrible thing. The sound quality isn't going to blow you away, especially compared to larger speakers, but for something that weighs about as much as a paperback book and fits in the palm of your hand, it's still pretty impressive, especially if you're picking it up to listen to audiobooks, podcasts, or movies. We're giving the Logitech X100 an 8 out of 10. And that is all we've got, folks. If you're looking for some more details, check out the written review over at soundguys.com. Links to the article and to our forums in case you've got a question are down in the video description. Looking for more awesome audio stuff? Subscribe to Sound Guys button right there. I'm Chris Wook, and thanks for watching.